The device needs the frame ID in order to decide if it will forward the frame or process it itself. It previously took about 5 microseconds for the frame ID to reach the device. Today, there is fast forwarding. With it, the position of the frame ID has been moved forward. This reduces the transmission time to 1.2 microseconds. Thanks to fast forwarding, the frames have a faster transmission time. The performance gains are significant, especially in long line structures. Up to now, individual frames were sent to each device. The summation frame method is familiar from the field bus world. In this method, a frame contains data for all nodes within a line. This makes better use of the bandwidth. Today's dynamic frame packing goes one step further. The process data remain in the respective device and are no longer forwarded. This shortens the frame and maximizes the efficiency of the data transmission. Dynamic frame packing significantly increases the available bandwidth, especially in line structures. Transmission of a complete standard Ethernet frame with TCP IP data takes up to 125 microseconds. The cycle time for Profinet data, therefore, cannot be reduced indefinitely. With fragmentation, these long TCP IP frames are split into subframes. The cycle time for Profinet data can thus be reduced to 31.25 microseconds. The last device reassembles the frame parts into the original TCP IP frame. With fragmentation, it is now possible to transmit more Profinet data in the same time period. This results in a shorter cycle time.